Okay, so um, some of the activities that you have might have like a video here um, and then also require you to add your own response. So for example, I'll click on this and it's gonna take me to a bunch of slides about the taxonomy thing. As you can see, there's a play button right here, which is, um, you know, recordings that I did about the people. All right, so before we go any further in our tax, these are all basically animated. So you'll go through all the slides and then when you're done with the slides, you're gonna add, um, add response. This orange one right here means that I had already started a response, um, but typically it's going to look like that where it's green. So you'd hit that. And on this assignment, there already is a template that I would like you to use because I have specific questions. So it's going to have my voice. Who is this? And why is he important to taxonomy? Because I had recorded it, it makes it so that you can't really do anything. But what you're going to want to click is this button right here, re-record. And then that should take you to these tools right here where you can choose, you know, you can type in your answer, you can record your voice for your answer. Um, you can make like shapes and stuff like that and then or you can like use a pencil and draw so you would just let's say that i wanted to write my answer here i would write uh aristotle you know i'm not gonna write out the whole thing because it'd take a while um and then i would go to the next slide and i'd do the same thing i'd play it and then hit the change button when I had gone through everything, um, what you would do is you hit the green button up top here and that will send it in. If you feel like you have things to work on or whatever, then you click the draft button right there. And so you can like kind of go back to it. Some of these lessons might take a little while, um, especially some of the math lessons, but uh, it's pretty cool because like for this one, you're going to have to put things in order and you can actually like move the things around. So instead of like drawing weird lines, you click this little hand button right here and see, I can move the boxes around in any way that I want to and then save my work. So that is how you add responses. It uploads and then it sends to me. So it's waiting for teacher approval and I will look at it. I will probably have comments for a lot of the assignments and it should not be seen in any way as me like correcting it, but rather having a conversation with this, with the students. Cause I, I can't <laughs> do this face to face. So I think like, you know, they're going to submit stuff. Not everything is going to be right that's okay. I want them to kind of like engage in more of a conversation. So if I send something back with comments on it, it's not because I'm like, you did this wrong. It's because I want to make sure that they understand uh, the materials that I'm sending out for them. And if they have any questions or, you know, if they're stuck on something, this is the best way for me to be able to connect with them.